How to start using Visual Studio Code. If you need help installing and setting this up, I'll leave a link up top and down below where I show you guys how to do so. I'm gonna use the desktop icon that it created and go ahead and open Visual Studio Code. From here, it's gonna show you the start menu where you can create a new file, open a file, or open a folder. And first, I wanna show you guys how you can create a basic HTML page. So I'm gonna go up to File, then I'm gonna click Open Folder from here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create a new folder, and this is simply going to be VS Code Trial. Once I create that, I wanna go ahead and double click it and then go ahead and select this particular folder. And up here in the top left, you guys can see in our Explorer that it says VS Code Trial. So we know we're inside of our new folder that we just created. If you're not seeing this, go ahead and click this button here. So you can go ahead and close out of the Explorer and open it up. From here, what we can do is right click and select new file. And I'll go ahead and create an index.html file like so. And from here, it creates our file within the folder that we just created. And we can start off with a basic boilerplate. So I'll go ahead and enter in a exclamation mark and go ahead and hit enter. And that generates us a basic HTML boilerplate. And from here, just to show you guys that it successfully works, I'll go ahead and add an H1 HTML element and just say, hello. From here, if I right click, I can go ahead and select preview in default browser, and that will open my default browser and display our HTML page on the front end. If you guys wanna see how to create an HTML and CSS website from scratch, I'll leave a link up top and down below to that video. Next, you guys can also search for specific stuff by going to the search icon over here. So if I wanna search for example, initial, I can search for this keyword, go ahead down here, click on this, and it will directly highlight where it says initial in my file here. Next, you guys will have the source control, which we're not really gonna go into in today's video, but this gives you some functionality if you guys wanna check it out. You have run and debug here where you can run and debug files. Next is gonna be really important because these are going to be extensions that you're likely gonna be installing. So here is a whole bunch of different extensions that you guys can install. And all of these extensions basically just make your life easier when you're developing in Visual Studio Code. So if I wanna install something like Live Server, I can go ahead and install it simply by typing in Live, looking for Live Server, and then just going and hitting Install. And from here, you guys wanna make sure that it is also enabled so now you guys can see that it's successfully installed. And from here, you can also go ahead and disable it. And then you can also go back and enable it. So if you guys don't need a particular extension to be running at a certain time, you can always disable it. Now I wanna go back to the file and just go ahead and select it like so. And you guys will notice that Visual Studio Code adds the files that we've opened up at the top right here for easy access and we can go ahead and close out of some of these if we want. Lastly, before we complete this video, terminal is going to be extremely important for you guys. So to open a terminal, go ahead and select terminal, select new terminal, and from here, it will open a default terminal, and right here where it says PowerShell, you can click this little down carrot and it will let you open up a command prompt and a few other options. If you have any questions or run into any problems at all, go down below in the comments and I will respond to you. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped out.